The two chains of the MHC class II molecule assemble in the endoplasmic reticulum, the ER, with the third chain, the invariant chain, shown here in green. A portion of the invariant chain binds to the peptide binding groove of the MHC class II molecule and prevents peptides or unfolded proteins present in the ER from binding. The invariant chain also guides the transport of the class II molecule out of the ER and through the Golgi apparatus into a vesicle that eventually becomes part of the endocytic pathway by which pathogens and foreign proteins are taken into the cell. Progressive acidification of this endocytic vesicle activates proteases that cleave the invariant chain in two places, leaving a small peptide, the class II associated invariant chain peptide, or CLIP, bound to the class II molecule. Engulfed pathogens, or their proteins, are also degraded by acid-activated proteases into peptides, but these cannot immediately bind to the class II molecule because the CLIP peptide still occupies the peptide binding groove. The removal of the CLIP peptide is the function of a specialized MHC class II-like molecule, HLA-DM, which is also present in these vesicles. It functions as a catalyst, coordinating both the release of the CLIP peptide from class II molecules and the binding of pathogen-derived peptides. The MHC class II peptide complex is then transported to the cell surface, where it can be recognized by the antigen receptors of CD4 T cells.